NWA Connie Corsos proudly presents the Southern Classic Litter. The breeding between Scandifio's Rambo and NWA's Nyla is confirmed, and pups will be here within 30 days. Get ahead of the pack by getting your application in at nwaconniecorsos.com. Our pups come with a 24-month health guarantee. Contact us on any platform at NWA Connie Corsos. We stand behind our dogs. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So many of you guys have already heard that the WBC, they gave Devin Haney a deadline. He had to decide if he was going to move up to 140 and fight Regis Progre or he was going to fight against uh, his mandatory Shakur Stevenson at 135. Now, according to my sources, that is very, very close to the situation. Devin Haney has sent Shakur Stevenson a new offer which means it's better than the offer that he sent him before. Now, I'm sure Shakur Stevenson, he's going to come out and he's going to respond to this and he's going to decide on whether he wants to fight Devin Haney for all of the belts at 135 and make the biggest payday of his career, or is he going to turn down the title shot and fight someone else for half the amount of money that he would make against Devin Haney? Because if Shakur Stevenson fights a Jermaine Ortiz or another Oshino type of opponent, it's almost a guarantee that Shakur Stevenson would make half the amount of money that he would make against the undisputed champion, Devin Haney. Right now, it seems Devin Haney has more options than Shakur Stevenson. I mean, Shakur, he does have the option of a Frank Martin fight. Shakur, he said that if he couldn't get the Devin Haney fight, he would like to fight against Lomachenko. But the problem is Lomachenko is not showing too much interest in fighting against Shakur. Loma feels Shakur is a very dangerous fight. In fact, I truly believe Loma feels that Shakur would be even more of a dangerous fight than the Devin Haney fight was, which is the last fight that Loma just lost. So unless Shakur Stevenson is fighting against Lomachenko or Javante Tang Davis next, once again, there's no way he's going to make the amount of money or even close to the amount of money that he would make against the undisputed lightweight champion. We should see soon how Shakur is going to respond to this new Devin Haney offer. Shakur, he's trying to return to the ring around the same time that Devin Haney will return. So Shakur is most likely going to have to make up his mind within the next two weeks when it comes to who he is seriously going to try to target. Like, who is he going to seriously start negotiating to fight? We shall see soon. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.